to that. Mm. But I just got to hear a little bit more about your guys' stream. Yeah, this is, this is wild. <laughs> I, we like, listen, we like when you guys go out and do your own shit. So, you know, congrats, first of all. Okay, so well, all three we were, of them were in shades. I just put that I know, together. I know. We all got <laughs> these. Yeah, two, like everybody has the supreme confidence now from doing their live stream, which is great. It must have something good must have happened, dude. It was a hit. I mean, originally we were gonna have a limousine and try to pick up chicks, but then Garrett. <laughs> then you realize it cost money. Oh, okay. No, uh. Casey was actually gonna like hook it up for us, but we decided until Who's Garrett. Casey again? Content Casey, God. Casey, the content god. Oh. He's probably a full blown cocaine addict. Actually, mm. he was pretty tolerable the last time I saw him. He's epic. He's he was pretty good the last time I saw him. He was fine. I think he was on a lot of coke the second to last time. That's when my impression of him wasn't so high. But gotcha. He's won. He's won me over. All right. Though we did have that one little confrontation, and that was like so stupid these just purple haired like feminist looking chicks sit down next to us in like a massive booth just the two of them while we're like in this squad and swoby just leans over and oh, says no no he literally just says oh no hey your hair is epic because it was like dark purple yeah and wow. she just Complimenting her hair. lost it dude like, well at she first, lost it at first she didn't respond she just pretended he didn't she didn't hear him so then he goes Hey, I said your hair is epic. And she's like, we did not consent to have a conversation with you. That did so, did, did, Something did like not. that. Yeah, and like, then she goes and complains to the owners and they kick us out of the restaurant and say that they had already complained about us twice, even though they were there for like five minutes. Wait, wait. How close to the truth is that sentence? Yeah. I pretty, did not consent to having a conversation with you. Pretty spot on. She literally said that. And that you know, just threw us off. Swally. She said, the, the, I'm going to get security and then I'll... Me and Austin looked at each other. At that point, we didn't give a fuck. So we we're like, "Go, go get security." If, if you guys keep hanging out, like, stop you get filming used to this. me. And Dino's just like putting the camera in her face. I don't know. I, don't you think Swolby might have said something else? And no, no. The, literally, know. the only thing we said to her before she flipped out was, "Your hair looks epic." I just, I'm gonna say this, Leo. I'm gonna take a probably unpredictable stance on this issue. Okay. But if I were a woman. And these three came up to me and said <laughs> anything. Well, I would call security. Anything I would call security. I like it. You guys got to get used to those sorts of responses because they're going to be 90% of the responses you get. I know, but we had a pastor with us. We had a Jew. We had Who's Dino, the Jewish guy? Uh, Aaron the Jew, my Dude, friend. you would love his friend Aaron the Jew. He's, He's awesome. He's so funny. Is he down for a double penetration? Uh, maybe. Uh, I mean, why does he call himself Aaron the Jew? I gave him that name. Not creative, bad. not yeah. bad. I like. We're it. gonna keep you around, yeah, <laughs> and make but, you one of the writers on our staff. And then, like, kind of like Neeks, when he gets a little hammered, he turns into the quintessentialist. But that's a little. That's what just, does that mean? The quintessentialist. Is Unpack this, is this, that for is, me. Is that his nickname when he gets hammered? He he'll like say some shit. He'll be like, "Yeah, I think uh, that uh, the Bible is blah blah blah," and I think Jews are quintessential or something like that. I'm like, what? And then I just that was gave the him. worst explanation of why he's I, called I, that. I, this is the worst example. I know, I know. But he said quintessential in a sentence, and then I caught that, and I, was, I just started naming him the quintessential. I, I feel like he's got to say something a couple of times to be called like the quint. I get that. I hate it when people lock into one word, and it's all they'll say over and over and over. Yeah. And it, 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 I get it. I understand the frustration, especially a word that's borderline pretentious, like quintessential. Dude, it's but unreal. one time, one time, you got to give them a pass. Unreal. I remember the one time in a Beatles history class in college, this twat in front of me used the word juxtaposition like five times in one class. That's fucked up. And I was like, is she, is she doing this just to just to f with me? I can't even use it in one sentence. It was her word of the day on her vocab. Dude, she was yeah. like, she kept raising her hand. Like the one thing I love about the White Album is like it's this juxtaposition position between like simple pop songs like I will and experiments like revolution and it just there's also this juxtaposition between guitar and there's going to be this juxtaposition between the bullets in my brain when Danny Mullen enacts his fantasy oh because my I want to I don't know why I'm all I can do is resort to violence right now. I've been in Green Bay for three days. I drove through a blizzard this morning with Nico. Jesus. Nico hung over out of his noggin mm. trying to make our flight, which we made by about five minutes. Wow. I'm stressed out. I barely slept last night, so I'm just feeling I heard Nico got hammered. Nico la okay, the, here I'm just gonna give you a snapshot of my night last night. Oh. Nico is in his underwear, climbing up a rain gutter. So that he can use a decorative balcony like a jungle gym. What? That's how blacked out this kid was. I'm so upset I wasn't there. 